We'll see how it ends up. Uh, well, speaking of toxicity in the workplace, apparently the marathon director at Bungie got fired over inappropriate conduct. Oh boy. Again, what a shocker. What a shocker. So more bad Bungie knew because people are already on their head because they had a massive layoff not too long ago. So let's read this article. Let's see what happened. The director behind Marathon and Bungie was fired this year due to inappropriate conduct. According to Bloomberg, Chris Barrett was fired from Bungie in the spring after being accused by several female employees of inappropriate behavior. Why can we just not keep our hands to ourselves? Like, what is up with men? You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not going to be on our side. At this point. I'm going to be on the women's side for this statement. But what is up with men? and and their power issues every time a man gets a little bit of power they th they just immediately abuse it and then it begins this trickle down effect it begins this firestorm of men ain't shit you know why are all these men in the leadership role in the workplace blah, blah 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 like it sucks because it just always puts a negative light on men it just makes us all seem like horny power hungry savages and i i dislike it i dislike that people like this always put a negative light on men as a whole i absolutely despise it and it continues to happen so i'm like what can we do to stop this what can we do to stop the video game industry i ain't gonna lie man the video game industry has been extremely toxic you know all these stories that we're hearing man it has been extremely toxic i don't know what's going on like i thought that we were just all some some gaming nerds just here to make some good some good entertainment for all of the fans who enjoy playing video games but you know it seemed like video game industry is one of the most toxic as far as workplace culture like it just continue if it's not crunch it's it's uh it's essay it's uh it's abuse it's inappropriate behavior like it's it's that he-man woman haters club like it's just like we're just hearing all of these stories and i'm just like why like what is going on here like what is happening here so to continue on with this story uh predator point from jason schreier at least eight female employees came forward against barrett to the company from there an investigation took place the investigation discovered that Barrett would call lower level employees attractive while also asking them to play truth or dare. How old is this man? How old is this man? You asking grown women to play truth or dare? Hello? All right. <laughs> On top of that, Barrett reported flaunting his wealth and power within the company again this is what i was saying while hinting that he could help people advance their career see there it is it always happens music industry is another it's another huge one when it comes to oh yeah oh yeah girl i can help you you know they they be something off the block boy they just a pretty face but they can't sing worth a damn but you say hey man i can make you famous you know yeah when have y'all heard that before that's the that's the line right there that's the risk that is the risk when you got a little bit of power and you got a little bit of money. I can make you famous. So that's what it sounds like. That's what they're claiming that he said to them. You know, say said, hey, can help him advance their career. You know, just, you know, meet me after hours. You know, be my assistant. You know, be my assistant. And now, you know, I'll, I'll get you up there, man. You're just a lower, you're a lower level employee right now. You're a grunt. But I can, I can make you a manager, baby girl. I can, I can make you a team lead. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I can give you that promo. So like, eh, okay. So, so to continue on messages that were sent to Shrier show requests to hang out with the women involved, as well as texts that were flirtatious. It was also said that Barrett's interactions with the women had similar patterns. Barrett would befriend women at the studio and various departments, and then send them a barrage day, a barrage of text messages that blurred the line between professional and personal. So sound like a doctor disrespect situation, you know, just inappropriate behavior. Did it did it lean towards inappropriate? Yes. Uh, but it, these weren't at least from what we're hearing, these weren't mine. So um, so and in the statement given to Bloomberg, Barry apologized for making people feel uncomfortable. Why didn't that there was never his intention? Of course, you know, you're, why why wouldn't you say that? That that wasn't your intention. But I mean, if you're inviting people to hang out, uh, you know, after hours and all that stuff and flirtatious tags that, that are unwanted, by the way. You know, we just need to make sure that we continue to say that these were unwanted advances. You know, it doesn't matter how you as a person took it. 
or 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 you know what your intention was supposed to be or what you thought it was going to be you know if it's inappropriate it's inappropriate you know and you can't you can't tell the other person on the other side how they should feel about it uh so to continue one here so i uh so bear says i feel that i have always conducted myself with integrity and have been respectful and supportive of my colleagues many of whom i consider my closest friends I never understood my communication to be unwanted, so you're so you're not self-aware, and I would have never thought they could possibly have made anyone feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, I, I would love to see the sex messages and see what you were saying. Uh, if anyone ever felt that way about their interaction with me, I am truly sorry. Oh, this is this is this is a great statement, y'all. This, this is a great statement. Y'all believe it, man? Did it? They, they, were, the, were the white tears there, or were they there? You know, was it enough? Was it enough to to make it say, "Oh, yeah, I believe you." I, I believe you. Yeah, you know, you tell the truth there. Uh, Schreier said that Sony, Bungie's parent company, wouldn't comment on the case. Of course, Sony stayed mum about all. They Sony, Sony rarely comes out about things that they they're like. Yo, just handle it internally. We don't need to come out and say anything. Um, however, he was given a standard response from a spokesperson saying that the company takes all complaints of misconduct seriously. Employee at Bungie's weren't told that Barrett was fired or why he was no longer with the company. Yeah, so whatever this internal investigation was, um, you know, it, it definitely seemed like it was really bad. Because if you're just going to fire the director, you know, this isn't someone who's a lower level, but if you fire the director and you don't tell the employees why you know or just even know that they were fired period then you know it was something serious going on. so so that's that um but yeah sound sound freaky sound freaky there sound like you're abusing your power my friend they said free him you 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 over there you over there tripping uh anyway so it's some good news it's some good news uh, i don't know how y'all felt about the game control how many people in the chat have played control before i enjoyed that game i enjoyed that game a lot i know some people were you know on the fence about it but i enjoy control i think me and ethos we were we were one and saying we both enjoyed that game so this report says that remedy partners with annapurna and we were just talking about annapurna the other day we were watching the uh the nintendo uh indie world and the uh and nintendo direct so they they are partnering with annapurna to bring control and alan wake to film and television so Remedy Entertainment has announced a strategic partnership with Annapurna, Annapurna Pictures, the core purpose of which is to have the latter company finance 50%, so half of the development budget for the upcoming Control 2. This partnership will also give Annapurna the production rights for Control and Alan Wake to create a live action adaptions of both franchises. So again, even though the, the beginning article says that they're going to uh, partner with them on film and television they are also going to partner with them for the video game that's what i really care about control 2 control 2 the video game that shit gonna be fire bring an Annapurna in there too that's gonna be fire so so remedy is already good by themselves but teaming up with Annapurna, oh my god i i said this is gonna be peak right here y'all this is gonna be peak and you're gonna make it into a tv series that sounds fire as hell so uh, to continue on, Al Alan Wake, and don't forget Alan Wake too. Uh, Alan Wake and Control will translate nicely into live action adaptions. The former franchise already features plenty of live action sequences. Yes, they do, uh, particularly in the 2023 release of Alan Wake 2. Uh, speaking on deal, uh, Megan Ellison, the CEO of Annapurna, said, The future of storytelling requires seamlessly integrating gaming, film, and television, and this partnership will allow us to explore new ways of bringing these narratives to life. By leveraging remedies, innovative narratives, and immersive worlds, we can push the boundaries of how stories are told and experienced across mediums. Uh, this deal will see Remedy Entertainment earn a greater revenue share from the sales of subsequent releases, primarily Control 2, while Annapurna will reap the larger revenue share from any audiovisual production. So they're going to get a bigger share from the live action uh, adaptions. And they're going to get a smaller one from uh will remedy will will get a greater share from the from the video game which makes sense i mean you're making it you're going to be mainly making a video game so you get a bigger share of that and then annapurna is going to be you know uh for, for the most part they're going to be doing a live action adapter so you're going to get a lot a, a larger revenue share from that so that makes sense uh remedy ceo uh taro uh vertala said this strategic partnership between annapurna and remedy is an important milestone and an exciting opportunity for us we know Annapurna shares our passion for our IPs and the universe that we have created. With award-winning movies such as Zero Dark Thirty and games like Stray, 
Annapurna's expertise across film, TV, and video games makes them an ideal partner for us. This agreement will ensure we can develop Control 2 into the best game possible, allow us to move into self-publishing for selected titles, and expand our franchises to other mediums. So that's fire. Are you costly optimistic? Okay, it could be costly optimistic. I'm very optimistic about this. I think I think this is going to be a banger working with Annapurna for Control too. So we'll see. Uh, the live action and series, you know, I can I can see you being costly optimistic about those. But again, yeah, Annapurna, you know, typically does a good job. So I think I think it'll be fire. I think I think all of it. I think all the content will be fire. So so that's good news. I love that. Love hearing.